This past weekend saw the final release of Morbius. It actually happened. April Fool's Day. It actually happened. We saw Morbius. This film was delayed for two years. We were supposed to get it two years ago, but finally, I walked into the movie theater. I sat down and I watched this film that critics were calling a disaster. They were making it sound like it was a train wreck of a film. It was not perfect, but for an hour and 44 minutes, I was entertained. I was never born. And I sat there and I watched it and I said, that's not bad. I enjoyed that, and like I said in a previous video, I am going to watch it again. I'm going to watch Venom 1, I'm going to watch Venom 2, and I'm going to watch Morbius, and I'm not going to have any regrets doing so. But now this weekend, this film, it, it succeeded expectations. Now, some experts were predicting it to finish around the $50 million range, but Sony Pictures actually had estimations for this to finish at $33 million, and it's going to finish over $39 million for the weekend. Now, for a comic book movie, that might not sound like a lot, and in fact, it is not. But a comic book movie that was so much like Morbius was from Sony Studios, from a movie that had been delayed for two years, that's actually a win. Not only is that a win, that is greater than The Lost City did last week from Sandra Bullock, which was a huge success. This was also with only a 75 million dollar budget some reports are indicating it might have been closer to 83 million but what regardless 75 to 83 million dollars is not a lot of money to spend on a movie of this stature and now it's looking like it's made this weekend alone 85 million worldwide worldwide this thing has made its its budget back now you got to take into account marketing two years worth of marketing and the delays and all that so it's going to take a little bit of time for it to actually make its money back but it looks like it's on track to do so this is great news for sony great news for their spider verse without spider-man verse great news for a potential sequel and i said in my review there are some things that i would absolutely love to see in the sequel, and for me, the first one of them all would be Martin Bancroft. Spoilers for anyone who has not seen Morbius, please stop now, come back later, I gotta get into it. At the end of the film, we see that Morbius has to feast on her to survive and take down his best friend, Milo, who of course I don't believe is going to be returning in it, but that could be cool. But when this happens, right before he, he uses her lifeblood for his life, they share an intimate kiss. And in that kiss, blood is transferred from Morbius into Martine Bancroft. And in that moment, you realize it is not her blood. It is, in fact, Morbius's, Dr. Michael Morbius's blood that is being transferred to Martine Bancroft. And in doing so, she passes away. And then towards the end, and they get the ending is a little abrupt. I will, I you know, the movie is not perfect, like I said. It has issues. But in the end, her eyes flash open. We see that she is actually alive, which this, of course, pays homage or is, you know, in line with her comic book counterpart where she becomes a vampire, but not a true vampire. And her goal is to become a true vampire. And she gets taken kind of down the dark side of it, uh, of vampirism, if you would say. And, and Morbius has to kind of confront her. And then she's like, I want to be a true vampire. I want to spend my whole life with you. And I think that's a very intriguing plot device to have going into it. What takes away from this, of course, is that this movie is setting up the Sinister Six in the most forced way ever. Sony once again forces the Sinister Six down our throats, but this is where this is going. Now, I'm fine with the Sinister Six movie. You're giving me Craven the Hunter, you're giving me Madame Web, you're hopefully maybe another Venom movie because I really enjoy those films. You give me all these individual ones, then we can get to a Sinister Six at some point, but I hope they focus on a Morbius 2 separately from Sinister Six, kind of like Avengers, right? You have the Avengers movies, which was great. You had that, you're like, yeah, that's great. I'm going to go see Avengers. But then you have Iron Man 3 coming out. You have Thor coming out. You know, then they're kind of, they're in the same world, but they're separate, so you pay attention. So I'm kind of hoping we do get a Morbius 2. The way this is going, you would think they could spend 75 to $100 million on a Morbius 2, and it could happen. Another thing I'd really like to happen, and what I would really like to see, is clearly in those two years, changes were made to this film. It sounds like the director was on board with the changes, which is fine, but I do think changes were made, and I kind of would like to see a extended director's cut or some kind of extended version of this film when it's finally released on on digital and dvd and blu-ray and 4k and 8k and 12k and 92k and all of that i would kind of like to see that play out because there is a version of this where you know things make a little bit more sense and maybe they take a little bit more time getting there and i think it's in there and i think someone like jared leto would be down if we got to see that maybe he would be more inclined to come back for a sequel playing morbius again though it, it looks like a sequel is very likely if venom can have a sequel then why couldn't Morbius. Venom ended, of course, with $113.5 million haul uh, in domestic and 856 
in total, which is kind of crazy for Venom. Morbius, of course, is not going to come up uh, to those numbers. Venom 2, 502 million. Of course, the pandemic played a factor into that. This movie is going to finish probably around 200 million. So you could look for a sequel. The potential for a sequel is there. The Sinister Six is happening, so maybe Sony says, well, we didn't quite break the box off like we were hoping so we're gonna move on but keep in mind this movie 75 million dollar budget if you can figure out how to do a sequel with that kind of a budget martine is still around there are plot questions up in the air that need to be resolved and a sequel could be it low budget do it let's make it happen people are into morbius it's crazy to sound critics might not have liked it but fans people have shown up to the theater to watch this movie opening weekend i did let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and until next time may you be the master of your own universe